Welcome back to the program. Well, not only have RX Plastics gone and put their little K lines on steroids so that you can get some decent dispersal of uh, what you want to disperse, they've also come up with a revolutionary idea for weeping walls. Uh, the weeping wall is a system, uh, reasonably age-old system, designed of putting a wall uh, with gaps in it uh, to hold back the solids so that the farmer only has to deal with the uh, liquid part of the fertiliser uh, or the liquid part of the effluent and, um, and then handle the uh, solid part um, separately by mechanical means. Uh, we were approached uh, to develop that in uh, plastic because inherently the uh, traditional methods of doing it, uh, steel rusts, uh, timber warps and uh, concrete erodes. So um, we were approached as a plastic manufacturer and asked if we could do it in plastic. Uh, and uh, so yes, it was a wee bit of a challenge, but we've come up with a solution uh, that gives them a plastic weeping wall um, that uh, we can have a set gap. Um, generally four mils if we're washing down directly off a uh, yard and eight mils if they're scraping, so it's, if it's drier. And, um, and that allows them to uh, separate the, uh, the solids or the worst of the solids from the uh, liquid and handle the liquid through sprinklers and the solids mechanically. Which basically gives you a bigger range as far as recycling it. Absolutely, it gives them a much better management uh, of their nutrients basically uh, because the mechanical stuff they can put into a truck or a trailer and cart it to the furthest parts of the farm and the uh, liquid part they generally uh, spray around closer to the cow shed where there is, um, uh, yeah, so they don't have to spend a lot of money on pipe work and, uh, and that. And about half the nutrients are in each lot of the effluent, so it halves the problem um, in terms of overloading and contaminating waterways and all of those uh, inherent problems uh, that have historically uh, plagued uh, the dispersal of effluent. Now obviously you've got a rule of thumb about how many of these gates, for the want of a better term, you're going to use? Yeah, we're certainly learning very fast. Um, that, and at the moment we, we suggest the minimum of one uh, 1200 by 1200 panel per 100 cows. Um, it appears that it's actually the number of panels or the area of weeping uh, surface uh, that determines the quality of the effluent that comes out and the quality of the dry uh, solids that are held in the drying bed, um, more so than the gap. Um, uh, the, the gap appears to be a secondary uh, consideration. Um, if you've got, the more panel you've got, the better result you'll get. Catching on pretty quick. Uh, yeah, a little bit quicker than we would have liked in some respects. Um, we launched this uh, in June and um, before I actually had the, pro uh, with a prototype and before we had it in production we'd uh, sold quite a number and uh, we've just caught up and we're now in a position to uh, supply orders um, X stock. Can it go into something that's already organised as far as ponds are concerned? Yes, uh, there's, uh, I think over half of our market at the moment is the retrofit market. Um, basically posts at 1200 or posts at a metre um, and, uh, and yeah, a lot of timber being replaced um, because of the warping problems where, I mean, it spends half its life wet and half its life dry and if you know timber, it doesn't uh, generally perform that well in those sort of conditions, so... Uh, Does it cut down the workload as far as scraping is concerned? Um, it certainly cuts down the... Uh, the, the the workload in terms of uh, main, maintaining the wall, it, it seems to, uh, uh, the plastic just uh, is what it is and it doesn't change. So um, if you have an eight mil gap, you'll have, uh, today you'll have an eight mil gap in 10 years on. It's interesting, isn't it? The more challenges they get given, the more they seem to meet. RX Plastics, a damn good company in, in New Zealand.